What's going on guys, it's Mog here and today I'll be doing an After Effects tutorial um, on basically how to get rid of Twixter warping without actually even using Twixter. Now, I don't know when Time Warp was available for After Effects, I'm currently using the latest After Effects which is CC 2015.3. So uh, let's get right into it. So basically, you want to get your clip, put it in a new comp. Uh, let's say, I don't know, let's just start it here, trim that up, and uh, let's trim it at the shot just to, I don't know, make it look more official. So um, basically, as you see here, you want to slow down this clip and speed it up to the beat of a song, let's say. And uh, when you use Twixter, it will make a really weird. Um, warping effect or like lag effect and as you can see here like 59.94 if I put in the frame rate you see how it's like really warpy and even like if I go and try and fix that with all playing around with all these settings it's still like pretty bad so um, and I know there's other ways to reduce Twixter warping but it just takes a long time and it's almost not worth it so you want to remove your Twixter there because we're not going to really be using that anymore um, now, not that I really have paid for Twixter, I mean, I mean, we, we all pay for, uh, plugins and stuff, don't we guys? Yeah, that's right, we all do. Uh, so basically, you want to go into your effects and presets, search up Time Warp, and like I said, I don't know when this, uh, like, preset, uh, or effect became available, but, um, I don't know, I just discovered it recently, so you want to drag it on, and as you can see, it automatically adjusts the timing. 50% speed here. Now you don't need to input your FPS everywhere, or not that I know of. So yeah, so it'll automatically adjust it. If you want to bump this set back up to 100, just to not freak out or panic, I don't know. So let's say you want to twixt uh, or time warp this part here where he like switches or YYs or whatever the hell he does. Oh, what is that? Um, so or the shot. Let's just say you wanted to twixt to the shot. <clears throat> So, vector detail, I'm pretty sure you want that at 100. I'm pretty sure that just makes it really nice and smooth. Now, the one problem I've experienced with using Time Warp, it takes a, a little bit to render, but um, I'm sure we can all get past that. So, you want to keyframe your speed, push you, and then go one or two frames ahead, uh, really depends. And then, let's say you want to slow it down to five. There you go. Right? And, you, and you're going to say now, okay, that's even worse than Twixter. That's really shitty and warpy. Right? But uh, keyframe it again. Go ahead of frame. Keyframe it again at 100. So, basically, from here, what you want to do is, you're thinking, okay, that's really, like, warpy. Um, you can play around with the smoothness, build from one image, blah, 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 all this, and put filtering at extreme. It'll make it look a bit nicer, but it'll take uh, a really long while to render, um, if, especially if you've got a, quite a bad computer. I've got a quite decent computer, so I'm not trying to brag or anything, but you know. Uh, now, there's a few different ways you can fix this warping. <clears throat> you can use whole frames or f uh, frame mix, as you can see there. Now, pixel, pixel motion, if you're editing like trick shots or COD in general is probably the worst because it just as you can see it just really screws up with your footage there and like look at that frame that just looks horrible so when you go to whole frames it'll make it like maybe a little bit laggy like hold on let's ram preview this okay that is really laggy right but um that's not your best option if you go frame mix it sh uh, should um not get rid of it, but it'll make it look not so bad. Now let's turn off this audio because it look, it sounds rather really weird. So um, like that looks a bit off and weird, but like I said, uh, really have a go at playing with these values here. Uh, source crops you don't really need to worry about because it does this crap and it looks really weird. But uh, yeah, forget about that. So like maybe if you add some. Motion Blur, RSMB, I've got the RSMB uh, plugin, just chuck that, actually, you know, chuck it under there, put about 0.9 on there, this thing keeps popping up, um, and let's ram preview this, I think I'll cut it, I'll be right back.
now let's run previous. See, like, you can see it's not that bad, but, um, that's with RSMB. Let's add some, like, color corrections. I've got some preset saved ones here from editing packs and stuff. But, um, as you can see there, uh, that's a bit of a, a bit of a shitty color correction, actually. But, like, you, it's sort of hard to tell that it's there. I mean, you can still tell, but, um, as we scrub through here, but... <laughs> It's a lot better than using Twixer and or Time Warp and getting a whole bunch of warping and um, sort of making your edit look really just bad and warpy. Um, so that's about it really. I mean, if you really want to make it look good, I'll just do it for the purpose of the video. You can add some cinematic bars if you want. I'm just going to do this really quickly. Uh, it's a bit big. It's a bit small. Um, that's about right. Add some cinematic bars up there, you know. Uh, that looks alright. It gives it a nice cinematic feel to it. Also, on kill cam, it would look uh, better using this time warping thing because it is a. Uh, it's actually slowed down by the time he shoots here, so it'll actually look better. You can you can maybe use um, not frame mix. Uh, you can use pixel motion or whole frames. Uh, but uh, that's about it, really. Thumbs up for any more After Effects tutorials. Comment on what I should do next or what you want fixed or how else I do something with this. This was just a really quick tutorial, so it won't be perfect. But, um, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later.